1938, New York City, the beginning of the golden age of comic books, an era which introduced us to the superhero archetype. Imagine playing an economic board game in which you publish and compete against other comic book publishers in New York City during that golden age of comic books. That game is Age of Comics, The Golden Years, by Lirius Games. This is not a paid promotion. I bought this game as an educator. Microeconomic concepts within the game include Theory of the Firm. Comic book publishers operate within the market structure of Duopoly if it's a two-player game. However, if it's a three- to four-player game, the market structure is oligopoly. In addition, game theory is present through the strategic behavior of the competing firms. Player actions include hiring writers and artists, developing story ideas, developing original comics, printing both original and rip-off comics, collecting royalties, and sales revenue. Thus, the production concepts within the game include the role of the entrepreneur to organize factors of production through the employment and cost of labor and capital resources, product differentiation and non-price competition, competing substitutes, job training as a positive production externality, and sales and marketing. Consumption concepts within the game include non-price determinants of demand, changes in tastes and preferences, sales and marketing and building hype for an upcoming comic book, how competing substitutes impact demand, and how household expenditure or spending is equal to the revenue earned by the firm. The game includes the following base game components. So let's go through the game setup in 12 steps. Step 1. Place the main board in the center of the table, leaving enough space on the right for the artists, writers, and original comic book card decks, and enough space on the left to place your ripoff comic book card deck and resources. Step 2. Randomly place the six calendar tiles face down on the round track. Place two of them on the space marking round three. Step three, place the turn order blocks on the track based on the number of players. In round one, the player who most recently read a comic book goes first, then the second most recent, and so on. In the following rounds, turn order is the reverse of the ranking order on the chart. Rankings are based on each player's best performing comic book only at the end of the round. In case of a tie, swap the player's turn order with respect to the previous round. In a three-player game, if all three players are in a tie, swap first and third. In a four-player game, if all four are in a tie, swap first with fourth and second with third. Step four, place six idea tokens, one per genre, inside the idea's action space. Step five. Place one editor meeple per player on the shape spaces below. Special action. This editor will be gained after the sales action in the round in which you print your fourth comic book. Step 6. Arrange the following resources on the left side of the board or where you find convenient. This is the game supply. Step 7. Stack all the mini, original, and ripoff comic book tiles on the board. Step 8. Place sales order tiles on the map. Four players, randomly place all the sales order tiles, 42 of them, face down on all the spaces, including the two, three, and four meeple icons. Note, there cannot be three or more identical tiles connected to the same circle. If this happens, swap one of those for another at random. Three players, remove one tile with value three from each genre. Place the remaining 36 tiles face down on all white spaces and the ones marked with a three meeple icon. Do not use the spaces marked with a 2 and 4 meeple icon. Two players. Remove two tiles, one with value 3 and one with value 4 from each genre. Place the remaining 30 tiles face down on all white spaces and the ones marked with a 2 meeple icon. Do not use the spaces marked with a 3 and 4 meeple icon. Step 9. Place every sales agent token at the center of the X in the map. Step 10, place the six bonus super transport tickets on the allocate space of the map. Step 11, player setup. Players are identified by the logos and color of the publishing houses, yellow, salmon, teal, and brown. Each player receives one player mat and three special action cubes. Place these cubes in the three available spaces on the player mat. Every player gets four editor meeples, $5, one, one random value two writer card, and one random value two artist card. Note, do not show these cards to the other players. The two cards cannot be of the same genre or color. If it happens, swap one of them with another from the deck. In turn order, each player gets one original face-down comic book card of their choice and two idea tokens of their choice. 
The second player gets one additional idea token of their choice, the third gets an extra one dollar, and the fourth gets one idea token of their choice and one dollar. Step 12. Shuffle the remaining writer, artist, and original comic book cards separately, form three decks, and place them face down to the right of the board. Card setup. After the setup, draw three cards for a two and three player setup, or four cards for a four player setup from each writer's, artist, and original comic book deck and place them face up in a row to the right of their corresponding deck as shown in the images. So this is how the completed game should look. More videos on Age of Comics to come. Stay tuned for videos on these games and more.